What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna talk a little bit more about St. John. In our last video, we were talking about the vibe here. Like, like what is it actually like on the day-to-day -day here? And what is it actually like to live here? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about our plans for the future. After being here for a few months, do we see ourselves staying in St. John indefinitely? Do we picture ourselves here for the rest of our lives or is this just a pit stop in our journey? You know, this topic kind of came up over dinner the other night when Jess and I were just talking about the future and our plans and what direction we ultimately wanted to head. And do you remember how that conversation went? Yeah, um, it's a conversation obviously that we've had before and we're always talking about goals of ours and future plans and what life might look like in the future for us. We got to talking about whether we would be here in St. John long term. And I think for, for myself personally, even before coming here, I don't think I necessarily pictured myself staying here forever. Well, I do really like it so far and it's really a great choice for us and our family right now. There's just other things that I have in mind, mostly because of the weather here and really the weather in Canada in general. <laughs> it's really cold here and I've always had aspirations to live somewhere warm. I'm totally with Jess on that. And if this isn't really even specific to, to St. John or Eastern Canada, like it's cold all throughout Canada. Us, we both really like the sun. We like being warm. We really both thrive in, in summertime and just, you know, feeling the warmth and the heat and the energy of the sun. It just does something to us. It energizes us, inspires us. It, it just makes us feel good. I don't know if you can say the same for yourself. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Having said that, I think we do have an appreciation for winter. Like I, I enjoy winter sometime. Going out in the snow, especially with Ivy pulling her in the sled, you know, doing those types of winter activities. But in Canada, it just seems like winter never ends. It's like the majority of the year. At some point, it just becomes unpleasant. It would be cool to only spend part of the winter here and then have another part of the year somewhere warm, you know, where you can pop out of bed and walk out into your yard and pluck an orange or a banana or an avocado off of your fruit tree. And you know, that just, it sort of excites us having like a garden with tropical fruit and stuff and being able to walk barefoot through your yard. I think regardless of where we would be living right now, we would always still have these goals and still have these plans for the future. It's not because, it's not just because we're in St. John that we're somehow like scarred by winter and we want to get away. This is something that we've been thinking about for a while. Um, and there's just something about having a little bit of land somewhere warm that we can explore and that we can enjoy and somewhere, an environment that's so different to the winter environment here. Mind you, I think St. John has sort of given my appreciation for winter back to me. I think I lost that for a long time. <laughs> but being here surrounded by so much beauty, regardless of the season, I think it's, yeah, it's done something special for me. So I will say that about St. John. And even before we came, our friends and family back home, they're like, are you guys gonna be prepared for the winter? It's crazy, they get so much snow. Well, I don't really know if this is like a normal winter. We don't know, it's our first winter here. And I know like Northern New Brunswick, their winter is gonna be, you know, maybe more snow heavy than it is here in St. John, or at least it seems that way so far. But we've had some pretty big snowfalls, like less than a handful. I think there's only been three pretty big substantial snowfalls, but the temperature is basically the same as, as where we're from in Southern Ontario, you know? It's winter, it's around zero, some days it's above, some days it's below, but basically it's cold. So the snow banks are pretty big. We get snow, we get snow, but I think me, me personally, I, if it's gonna be cold, I want snow. So just because we want to live somewhere warm during most of the winter, it doesn't mean that we're going to put this house up for sale and you know move from St. John permanently. We bought this house with the intention of having it for a very long time and that hasn't changed at all. We're really enjoying fixing up this house and making it a home and making it somewhere that we feel comfortable in and somewhere that we can always return to no matter where we are in the world. 
adult, that idea of having this as our nest will stay with us for sure. Yeah, definitely. We really, really love our house especially the space that we're in right now, the office. We haven't talked about the house in a while, but just to give you a mini update, we have kind of pumped the brakes on renovations. I know you guys who are following Sauce do like a bunch of painting. We renovated this attic space that we're in right now. We did make a minor tweak. We got a bigger desk. Jess and I both work up here and we were kind of squeezed into a desk that was maybe you know, a couple feet too short. We made some changes and, you know, we picked up a longer desk from Ikea. So basically taking the legs off of this, this actually, what our current desk is a countertop that we got from Ikea ages ago. We used to use this on the, what is now currently our kitchen island. We just kind of plopped it on top and that served it as our like actual kitchen island. Since we moved here, we wanted to use this as our desk. Now that we have another desk space that's longer, we're gonna use this one on the kitchen island how it was before. Are you still with me? But we're really happy. The desk situation seems pretty good so far. As you can tell, I get really excited about the office stuff. It's like my favorite room in the house. So in our last video, when we were talking about the overall vibe of St. John, we had quite a few of you commenting about Uptown and how maybe we should go explore there a little bit more and just speaking about how it's much different without the COVID restrictions. There's usually a lot more happening down there. So the other day we decided to take a little break from work and go explore Uptown a little bit more. The child was awake at like five this morning. It's not having a good day. So we decided to uh, not work. We just stopped working. And we're gonna do it later and we're just gonna get out of the house because it's a nice day. Well, we made it uptown, sun's out, which is just uh, the sun in the winter, like, ah. Uh. Let's hear it. Yeah, so we didn't bring the stroller on that trip again. Last time we were uptown, we didn't bring the stroller. So we didn't see everywhere. We were kind of just in, you know, on our block. We went and got some lunch and, and some coffee and whatnot. So yeah, we'll explore like a different portion of it next time. And you know, when the weather starts to turn, it starts to get warmer. I'm sure we'll be all around that area. But it was pretty busy and that was exciting to see. I love that. Like you guys know, if you follow this channel, we both love the city. We love Toronto. So to get like a little bit of that vibe people coming and going was it was a nice change usually you know we're cooped up in the house so it was nice to see but that's not all recently we celebrated Irie's second birthday happy, happy birthday, birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Irie happy birthday to you. That was really special for us and it was so much fun to just celebrate her, celebrate us as parents and whenever that time of year rolls around it's very nostalgic and just good feelings all around. Yeah this parenting journey it definitely has been a journey. It's really incredible seeing her development and her grow and and right now it feels like every week she's you know saying things that it's just like whoa what did you just say say that again and uh, I don't know it's just fun and it's it's
it's just cool to see. Uh, it, it's just so much fun to watch her grow. Yeah, she's come a long way in, in one year. And even, you know, one month ago, she was seemed so little to how she is now. Yeah. It's really cool. I don't think we ever expected her to grow at the pace that she's growing. <laughs> I think right now she's just changing so quickly, faster than she ever has before. So if you made it to the end of the video, we thank you greatly. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Helps us out a lot. It helps others find our channel and helps us grow. So again, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.